at the feet of the volcano Mount Agung in Bali. There is a small magical village and we are about to find out what's so special about it. So I've got here two days ago and the first two days weather wasn't that good. Today is really the first day sunny and we have this amazing view on the volcano over there. You can tell it's just amazing. So today I was thinking about maybe talking to a few people from the village because it turns out that the day of tomorrow there is going to be a ceremony and in Bali ceremonies are really a big thing and so also to understand this culture because one of the things that i have noticed guys is that these people are very traditional like very very traditional and there is i've tried to sort of explain to myself how they manage to be so cohesive and friendly all the time and this is something sounds strange but as a as a guy, I, I'm just not used to be treated that, that well. Um, and so here it's very different. Like do you have, you're, they're very, very welcoming and you, you like them, they like you back and you have this kindness going on all the time. There's a lot of peacefulness. So I'm really fascinated by the culture here. So I wanna deep dive a little bit more, talk to these people. And so I'm gonna ask, them today just let's walk through the village a little bit give you an idea how it looks like and and then we just gonna interview someone and i'm gonna ask them maybe i can even be present tomorrow in that ceremony and get some footage right there okay guys here we have one of the temples in the village where the ceremony will take place i want to show you something these little offerings that you see in Bali everywhere. You see them in the morning, they put them in front of every door. Most of them also do that in the afternoon. So they, they even do it twice a day in, in some places. And so, and what you can tell, they have these, it's an offering. They, so they put a lot of uh, like um, food inside in there and also flowers. And I've, we, you can see the dedication and the, and the ritual, how important that is to them. And so I want to show you where these, they have entire fields of flowers only with one purpose and one purpose only, which is becoming part of that offering. I'm going to show you one of those fields in a moment. So here we are in one of those flower fields. You see these? All of that. The only purpose of these, you see the yellow ones over there? They just have these flowers so they can use them in their offerings. Isn't that amazing? I can't stress enough how much of a contrast I can feel and see as to how you're being treated here. And especially if you're coming from the West and you are male, it's such a difference. I come later over there. Do you are you gonna prepare the for the ceremony tomorrow? Oh yeah. You're gonna prepare? Mm. Yes? Yes. Here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. Can I can I come? Okay. For ceremony. Oh. Here. Hi. Can I? For for ceremony. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow today also. You prepare? Yeah. And tomorrow ceremony? Yeah. At what time do you prepare? Already. In the afternoon? No, in the morning. Yeah, no. Tomorrow. But tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And today? Today making satay. Prepare also. Prepare. What time? Mm, now making flour. You want to see? Yeah. Yeah, down there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm lucky. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be able to see this now. Oh. Hello, Papa. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, this looks good. Good, yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. So they are preparing everywhere. 
in every shop, restaurant, they are making their preparations for tomorrow. The name of that ceremony is Galungan. And I'm gonna show you here. Hello. So. Oh. <laughs> Hello, how are you? What What is the name of this? Chanang. Chanang. Yeah. The same as you put in the door every day? Same? Yeah. Or different? Because Chanang, I, I see every day in, the do, for, in front of my door. Okay. And what's your name again? Chanang. No, your name? Oh, Mia. Mia, okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you to produce him, you. Uh, children number five, five. Number five, yeah. Mia, children five, number three. Number three, and then number four. Number four. So number four. Let's see number four too. Yeah, number, number four. Okay. Yeah. Hello, number four. Uh, What's your name? Uh, Desi. Desi? Yeah. I'm Roman. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, yeah. Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number one, two, three. You have to start the ceremony. Just meet oh. Mama, just Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, this looks very good. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is all for tomorrow. Yeah, for tomorrow. For ceremony. Yeah. And who, who is going to eat everything? Yeah, and now not eat tomorrow, finish the ceremony. Oh, for offering? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, these guys make sure you wake up at 6 a.m. on point. So here at my place, they're also preparing for the ceremony. Is this for the ceremony? Yeah. Can I see? Sure. <laughs> oh. So is it for tomorrow? Yeah, it's for tomorrow. <laughs> it's a lot of things. Yeah, it's many. Many, many. This is just step one. Step one? Yeah. Uh, after this, we have another offering again. How many offerings? Like a hundred. 100? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so many. This one like two or two, 300 for this. Oh, and what is the, the fish over there? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Those are like, oh, it's a huge. They're like, these are like dogs. Hello. Oh my God. Hey, buddy. Are you like... Today is the day guys, Galungan ceremony and the day looks awesome and I'm really excited because I asked the lady from my hotel and she said I could go with them, enter the ceremony. Right in front of my hotel there's this lady having her prayer session in the morning. She does that every day and I need to get ready and put on that sabung, which is that clothing that I have to wear to get in. This is Gade uh, from my homestay. She's gonna report me because I'm so handsome now. Uh, <laughs> okay guys, I gotta be honest here. This is absolutely putting myself into outside my comfort zone because I feel like a little bit strange. So this, um. Yeah, it feels a little bit weird. Good morning, how are you? Okay, now I am officially allowed to enter the temple since I am wearing the sabung. It's awesome. Nobody really cares how I look like. I mean, it did, I did feel a little bit strange, guys. Um, okay. Oh. Wow. This is... Um, I can have ceremony over there. Yes. It really is... Um, surprising to me is the again it's the community here that this this all this is so this fosters community these people 
have show a lot of devotion so very religious but without the dogma that's what i feel without the dogma just welcoming Can take huh? take i'm uh, recording video recording okay yeah <laughs> so here you just go all day all day yeah all day all day so people can come any any time uh, because we have a uh, big celebration ceremony today, we have uh, we call Galuan Day. Galuan, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Galuan Day. We we celebrate every uh, six month. Oh, every six months. And but uh, there is no specific hour. Just all, all day. So all day. Yeah. So can start in the morning and come in the evening. Uh, not uh, until until in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. But some people also come in the morning, right? So, no. Yes. So very early, 6 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. Yeah. And while I was sitting there enjoying what was unfolding in front of my eyes, I made a friend, an older man that was sitting next to me. And I was curious, so I asked him a few questions about family and community. And he was very clear when he said that family is really the foundation of everything in Bali. And the ties are very, very strong and also the gender roles and I think we might be able to learn something from these people without becoming too religious but there is clearly a different life, a better life going on. <laughs>